Hey everybody, John Abedon here. Hello and uh, good evening. Greetings from Mount Crawford, Virginia. We are loaded and headed for uh, Wisconsin. Today once again is Sunday, July 26th to 2020. And uh, the temperature here is... 79 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, my goal for the night is only to drive about 203 miles down to uh, Burnwell Service Plaza in Burnwell, uh, b -b 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 West Virginia. From there it's like 635 miles so you can add that up from here to there all the way yeah it turns out that uh, I think I blew a fuse on the uh, trailer. Clearance light. There's no clearance light on the top of the trailer. I noticed that so one of you pointed that out on the other video, on the other trailer. So I thought it was uh, the other trailer that was doing that. But since now I'm hooked up to a different trailer, R65, and it's still the same effect, it could be a blown fuse or who knows, maybe Long Haul Larry gave me a wrong kind of a pigtail. Sometimes not all the pigtails are wired, you know, the same. So who knows? Either way, we'll have to get it looked at somewhere down the road. As always, have a good and godly day. God, be good here. Peace. Hey everybody, John be good here. Greetings from Chillicote, Ohio. Today is Monday. Happy Monday, everybody. Monday, July 27, 2020. The temperature here is 91 degrees. And we're going to stop at this pilot truck stop here, get us a uh, cat scale and fuel. Uh, we're only 3.5 miles away to the pilot. Oh, I got to share this with you. I heard this, uh, I heard this true story last night. It, it made me laugh. And I, it was amazing. 
when Dr. Ravi Zacharias traveled to uh, Lebanon, he met a young pastor while they were traveling on a, on a dirt road somewhere. They came across this uh, the suitcase in the middle of the road. The pastor, the wife, and Dr. Ravi Zacharias. So, the young pastor pulls over, picks up the suitcase. By then, the wife is really mad and scared because, well, you'll never know what's in the suitcase and who owns it. But the young pastor just didn't care. She, he, uh, his curiosity took the better of him, you know. So he pulls over, puts a suitcase in the trunk. And this was in the middle of the night, by the way. And uh, didn't open it, didn't do anything with it. Just put it in the trunk, went home. As soon as they got home, the young pastor opens up the suitcase. Lo and behold, the suitcase was full of money. I mean, stock, stack and stack of money. And uh, so he dug through all the suitcase, what was all in it. Other than the, uh, the suitcase full of money, there was a, a business card with a phone number on it. So, he took the business card, took the phone number, and dialed the phone. And on the other side, uh, the phone says, hello? He says, uh, yeah, my name is Pastor so-and-so. Have you recently lost something? And the other person on the phone, so, uh, you found it? Pastor goes, yep. He says, what have you lost? He says, I lost a suitcase full of money. That was just to confirm that he was calling the right person, right? So the pastor goes, all right, why don't you come by here in the morning um, and pick it up? So early, bright in the morning, the owner of the suitcase comes by the, the pastor's house, overwhelmed with joy. He couldn't believe that somebody would return a suitcase of money. And so, in his appreciation, the owner of the money takes a handful of large bills and offers it to the pastor and say, here, use this for your church, Get, you know. And the pastor says, oh no, I, I don't accept uh, gifts until Sunday he says if you really want to give it to the church you'll have to wait until Sunday and give it in the church now this was Wednesday so the owner of the um, hold on a minute The owner of the suitcase comes back on Sunday to give the pastor a handful of money as an offering. Ah, hold on, hold on.
right, we got 11,760 on our steer, 32,220 on our drives, 33,600 on our trailer axle, grossing at 77,580 pounds. There you go. Right now we are uh, very low on fuel. Anyway, so the church goes on. The uh, the owner of the suitcase gives the church countless amount of money. church service the pastor invited the guy to his house and there he was able to share the gospel and says you know I can give you he says you seem to have a lot of treasure a lot of money in that suitcase but I can offer you a treasure that's greater than all the treasures in the world, more treasure than what you've got. Where moth and rust cannot, you know, destroy, thieves can't steal. And uh, so the pastor, shared the gospel to him and the guy ended up being saved for the glory of the Lord <laughs> and I and I thought wow what an amazing story all right let's go get some fuel be right back peace all right so we've got code number 891-744 891-744 
na lutong Plenty of reefer fuel. the same prosthetic leg as my dad did on the right foot just right below the knee forgive me for saying this but why does a man like that continue to work people out there with perfect health are on welfare. <laughs> I believe that welfare is good, but I also believe that it could ruin people's lives, I think. Can we all agree that the government, certain politicians push welfare, not because they care about the people, but they use, they want to use welfare to stay in office. Use welfare money to entice people to vote for them, right? Use your own money to bribe you into voting them in the office. <laughs> I have no doubt there are you know legitimate stories of people that are you know deserving of welfare but I'm sure that on the flip side of that coin I'm sure somebody out there is abusing that system. From here we've got about yeah, about eight and a half hours to Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. Jeez, your grace. Oop. Wisconsin driver? The company is, yeah. 
How about you? West Virginia. Uh, how many terminals do you guys have? Quite a bit, huh? Yeah, you probably got 10. Wisconsin, but this company is out of uh, Maryland, so I go Maryland, Wisconsin, Texas, yeah. Pennsylvania, do it around. Have you started with this company? Uh, I've been with these guys for about three years. Did you start with them? No, I started with Pam. Pam? Yeah. And I came over to these guys. Yeah, I think uh, Martin is one of the best companies in Wisconsin. Yeah. Now, every company's got its bullshit, but these guys tend to take care of their phones. Well, how about you? Where do you run to most? Huh? Where do you run to, Mike? I got a dedicated restaurant depot. We load out in Napoleon, Ohio. Uh-huh. Go as far as uh, I've been to Syracuse and down to Hebert, Kentucky, over to Rochelle, Illinois. Uh-huh. Just going by. For, no New York, York City? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't believe you. Been there, done that, don't want it. <laughs> but since I've been with these guys, with the exception of Montana, North Dakota, and South Dakota, they put me in every state. Yeah. I've ran everywhere with these guys. Cool? Uh, yeah. Where are you headed to now? Oh. Oh, for the week, uh, what? For how many days? I don't know, Dan. My daughter's boyfriend died, so uh, oh. she's a mess, so I'm going back to Jeez, um, yeah, you better get home. Yeah. That's crazy. We got a, we load out a Pillsbury here in Wellston. Ah. Uh -huh. I'm going to drop this trailer there, and I'll fill in the house. So are you empty right now? Yeah. All right. I'll well, take care, driver. Take care. That's it. Odometer is 284, 481, 284, 481. All right, I'll be right back. All right, everybody, fuel is done, scale is done. We gotta go. We've got eight hours and 31 minutes remaining to drive to reach Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. Roughly 494 miles to Conemawak, delivering at Roundies.
Alright, if we go there, that'll take us to Columbus, Ohio. Obviously, we're gonna go straight towards uh, Dayton, Ohio. John if you good here. Hello and good afternoon greetings from Dayton, Ohio. The temperature here is a whopping 96 degrees. Holy smokies. We are down to 414 miles from Conemaugh, Wisconsin. And we are currently traveling on Interstate uh, 75 North. We're about 7.2 miles to Interstate uh, 70, which that will take us to Indianapolis, Indiana. It's roughly seven hours and eight minutes. Right now I have three hours and 29 minutes remaining to drive before I have to take a 30 minute mandatory break then I can finish the rest of it. By the way, I highly re uh, encourage you guys to search on YouTube Erwin Lutzer. What a beautiful, talented Bible scholar, teacher. He's been gone for quite a while now, but I tell you, he has a he has a voice of an angel. I, he has this wonderful voice, and his teachings is very, very easy to understand. So check it out, uh, Dr. Erwin Lutzer. L-U-T-H-Z-E-R Erwin Lutzer L-U-T-H-Z-E-R Oh, looks like some really bad rain up ahead. All right, that was just a quick update brought to you by Milk Biscuit. Guaranteed to brighten your teeth, soften your skin like butter, and make you think you're above average. Milk Biscuit. Available at the Fly J. Mention JBG Travels, and you'll get a 75% discount. Limited offer. Ha ha ha. Peace.
Denver, Ohio. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome to Indiana. Richmond, Indiana, that is. All right, right here we got 372 miles to Conemawak, Wisconsin. Roughly six hours and 26 minutes. Welcome to Indiana, everybody. Whether we get a free pass or not, that remains to be seen. Here we go. Are they closed? Are they closed? Yeah, we got a free pass. Yeah, we got a free pass. Woohoo! And they're closed! Yahoo! <laughs> you know, people say the portrait of Mona Lisa is really beautiful, or Van Gogh, or all those world famous paintings. To me, the most beautiful painting is right here. That it looks so beautiful. Way station closed. What could be better than that? Right? Right. <laughs> Alright, later. Peace. Hey everybody, John be good here. Oops. Good afternoon greetings from Appleton, Wisconsin. been assigned to door nine. Johnny be good here. Uh, I have to do a little bit about retraction or correction. I mentioned a couple of videos ago that uh, 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 Pastor Erwin Luther has died. Uh, actually, he is alive and well to this day, and you can find him right here. And um, I tell you. Uh, I encourage you, my brothers and sisters in Christ, to start right about, right about here. 
So what do we make of the Bible? Is it the word of man or is it the word of God? So I highly encourage you guys to check this channel out and I am absolutely sure you guys will be blessed by it. Have a nice day.